Welcome ESL and SEI team. My name is Chris Abraham and I'm your guide during this nine hour, 30 day workshop. Now, I, I thought I'd take a moment and, and do this intro and I want you to watch it the entire way through. This class is gonna have a lot of different components to it. And the first one is the intro, which is about 45 minutes long. And it's gonna, it has a couple different sections and each section talks about an important idea to help you think about the test and the class and how, how, how to approach your studies over the next uh, couple days and weeks as you prepare. So, so watch this from beginning to end before you start the content sections of, of this class, okay? All right, first thing I want to talk about, and I talk about this with every group of teachers, is, you know, priorities. And I, I have this picture here, and these two pictures are to remind you that your health and your family and your students too, are our top priorities. These things supersede these exams. I want you to remember that. These exams can be really stressful. Uh, they can be overwhelming. And so just don't lose sight of that, 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 you know, that your health is always gonna be more important than any teacher certification exam, right? And your family and your students, I mean, and they're far more important than these exams. And they're never gonna care if you're a great test taker or not. They, they just don't care. They're going to love you either way. Okay. Ho hopefully they'll, they'll, they'll like you a lot. All right. So, so make sure that you remember your top priorities, your health, your family, your students, uh, uh, as you approach these exams. Okay. And if you, if you agree with me on these right here, my, your health, family, students, okay, are far more important than these tests, then we can actually do this class because that's where this class begins. We begin here. Priority number two. And in priority number two, we're going to take this test that you have to take. doesn't matter if it's ESL and SEI. We're going to take this test. And we're going to change this test or bilingual education. doesn't matter. We're going to take the test and we're going to turn the test. We're going to turn it into a game. Now, there's many different ways to, to do a game. And you can play a game. You can play the game like you hate the game. Or you can play the game like you want to win. Now, what I found is that when you play a game that you hate, <laughs> don't like, dislike, um, you don't do very well, right? And, and you're kicking and kicking and screaming the entire way. But when you play a game uh, and you make it a game and you play to win the game, look at this picture here. This is a picture of the Women's World Cup team, you know, four years ago. To, and obviously they they won <laughs> here. They didn't win this year, but that's okay. But we don't always win. That's a good lesson. But but here they won, right? And and that's because they were really really playing to win. Yes, you know what it's like to win. You've got to approach this test like it's a game. Are you hearing me? And it's a game that you want to win, and you've got to play to win. You can't do it kicking and screaming. No one's going to force you through this class, right? Oh, no one's going to do that. This is a self-paced class, which means you've got to find the motivation and fire in you to work through this, okay? So so make this a game. And, we, and when you come across a concept or term or scenario that you're unfamiliar with, I want you to go after it. Like, like they would go after it if they were chasing a ball. They would go after it. And try and math, get that ball and score. Well, if you come across a term or concept or scenario or a challenge on this test, I want you to go after it, study it, learn it. It's very important that you adopt that, that, um, that perspective of this class. You're going to get a lot more out of this class and you're going to pass these tests a lot faster if you approach this like a game and it's a game that you want to win, okay? I will right, we'll talk about that in a little more. You'll see that theme throughout the class, but remember this, okay? Uh, uh, you'll hear it a lot throughout the class and later on in the intro. All right, let's talk about some other things that hopefully we're going to accomplish in this class. Um, my goal is for you to master second language acquisition concepts and test vocabulary. This is something that you're going to see. The class itself is just going to use a lot of this vocabulary. So... This has phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics, pragmatics, schwa, phonological awareness, phonemic awareness, allophones, alconin boxes, 
print awareness. Hopefully we go through all that vocabulary and a lot more. The, the goal of this class, one of the goals is to help you learn that tier three content specific vocabulary that you're gonna see on your ESL, SEI and bilingual education test, right? So right now I'll stick with uh, you mean SEI, uh, uh, ESL, and there's other teachers in this class here, maybe taking the bilingual a test. There's a lot of shared vocabulary on all these exams, okay? You got to get that vocab down. So if you come across a word that you've never seen before, schwa, there's a whole bunch of ways of practicing it. You can listen to the class. Uh, you can go and do that pre-workshop homework uh, um, section of the class, which has a lot of really helpful vocab. You could research it on your own. Lots and lots of ways you can acquire this language. But you're going to need this language. You're going to have to build your tier three vocabulary of the words that are on this test because they're going to be in your questions on the multiple choice and on the essays. So you, you need to understand them to answer those questions. Yes. And you're going to need to understand them to uh, write about them in your essays. So we're our goal. One of our major goals is to master these key concepts and vocabulary. Here's another uh, major goal. Now, I have a picture here. Um, but I'll, I'll give you the big overview. And then as you go through the class, you'll, you'll learn more about what's on this page and, 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 and things like that. But another major theme team is we want to link those concepts, those key ideas with student centered scenarios. We're going to be learning the concepts and linking them to scenarios. And when we read a scenario, we're going to match up and identify the key concepts. All right. And this is going to take some time. All right. Uh, don't worry. We'll get to a lot of the stuff that's on this page in a little bit. <clears throat> but let's just keep going, okay? This is still the intro. And uh, I hope I'm not going too fast. Sometimes I get excited. Uh, but but here, let's just let's go to the next piece. And I want to take a moment. I just want to talk about the class structure. So, team, let's take a, a moment and just talk about this 30-day class structure nine hour it's nine hour 30 day workshop you know structure here okay just just some elements if you need to pause the video you can but you got to watch this section here okay all right here we go uh the nine hour 30 day workshop class structure uh this is different <clears throat> than the three-day webinars very different the three-day webinars that we did <coughs> sounded wonderful we go through nine hours of content. It's actually more like um, the three-day classes were more like 12 hours of content. Yeah, okay. There are a lot of content, but but nine hours of content in three days. Um, and, and, and it was very fast-paced. It was live, but when you think of live, understand that one hour on the computer is a lot. Five hours on the computer, ESL and SEI team writing your essays at hour number five on a webinar, hour number five. <laughs> We're only in minute number 10. Imagine being on hour Well, it may be very convenient to go through all the information in three days. In terms of the, the pacing, which is very fast, and, and the live, which was really relative, you know, um, the absorption rate you know, it was very low. Teachers at hours three, four, and five were not absorbing all the information. And you only had seven days to work through the content. Now, now this is what the class that you're taking, this nine hour, 30 day workshop is gonna be doing. We're gonna still do this, we're, the, the classes, we're still doing the same content, same packet, same online. So those things are the same. And right now this class has not been changed to a 16 hour class, it's still, just nine hours of content. But the big thing is this, <clears throat> it's gonna be self-paced, which means you don't have to cram, rush this stuff. This is very important. This means that you, you don't, you're not gonna go at that super fast pace. So you can slow it down at your own pace. Listen to things again, go back, do the problem again, take your own time. Everyone's gonna be working at a different pace. And that's okay. I think this class is going to be very helpful for this group. Okay. 
because you are different than you or me and everyone else. So you're going to have your own pace and you're going to be able to work through the content at that rate. You're going to get a lot more absorption of the content. So make sure that you find that pace. Maybe that pace for you is, is 30 minutes a day. Maybe that pace is an hour a day. Of whatever it is, you're working through it at your pace. And you get to decide when you want to do this class. So you don't have to wake up at 7 a.m. on a Saturday or Sunday to do this class. Maybe you want to sleep in on Saturday, right? And maybe you want to do it later on. Maybe you can only study late at night. So you're going to have a lot more flexibility in how you structure your studies. And that's good, too. That's actually a really good thing. I happen to be someone who likes to, to wake up really early and do all my work. That's my routine. OK, um, but that's me. Right. So so having that flexibility, uh, especially as the school year starts, is really helpful. So you're going to have, you know, the nine hours. It's going to be self-paced. And it's going to be a lot more flexibility. And, and this is the big thing. Instead of seven days, team, you're going to have 30 days to go through this content. So that is literally increasing it by four times. I'll say it one more time. The three day, the difference, the big difference between the three day class and the 30 day class is you have four times as much time to go through the content. That's a big change. And that's a good thing, right? Now, you may not need all 30 days. You might you may not need that. You may you may be like, I don't need 30 days to go through this. Um, but you have the option. It just gives you the ability to, hey, you can decide. I, anywhere from three to 30 days, uh, you get to decide how much time you need, okay? So it's going to give teachers the option. You don't need to take 30 days to do the nine hours, but you have the option, okay? So... So let's, uh, so when you start this class, you've already started it, okay? You see these sections that to go through, to work through, right? Let me talk about some features of this nine hour class and, and just what you're gonna, uh, you see on the screen here. So every section matches up, right? With a section in your packet, yes? So you're right now doing the intro section. This is a slide that's in that packet. You're watching a video of that slide. And uh, this section here is part four on oral language and oracy. And it has a couple of, of parts. Uh, number one, the black and the blue. The black is, is uh, a narration. It's me. And, and I'm giving for these, these, these self-paced classes, I'm, I'm usually in this section here, I'm giving you maybe a two to five minute overview of of the blue the blue is actually of a of a class this is actually the class okay so i want you always when you when you're doing these sections here i want you to start with the black because the black was me talking to you uh as you do the self-paced class and it's me coaching you how to approach the section as you and what concepts maybe you want to focus on uh when you go through and you watch the class okay so, so watch the black videos first, two or five, two to three minutes long, five minutes long, and it's going to identify the key concepts, ideas that um, that I think you should need to you need to watch out for when you watch the class uh, class modules. Okay, let's talk about the class modules. The class modules are going to go through each page of your packet questions and they're during they were filmed during a live a live class um, that went on this spring and that live that live class right we work through each of the questions in your packet um, whenever you come across when you're watching the blue and you come across a question or a page make sure uh, when you when you're coming across that question when you're when you're going through and you you press on this link you're like okay I'm ready to watch this section of the class you press on the blue make sure team listen closely make sure that you take two minutes and you read that question over very carefully before the class happens these classes were very fast paced okay and um the problem with that is that not everyone works at that super fast pace and, and so what I'm asking you to do is every time you have a question, pause the videos, 
read the question. If it takes you five minutes to read it over, that's okay. I think you need to approach it like maybe the first time you read it, it takes five, and then you do it again and it maybe takes you three or, or maybe two minutes, right? You're going to work towards getting faster and faster every time. But always, bare minimum, before you listen to any uh, class recording, take two minutes, uh, read it on your own. That's, that's tip number one. I'll give you tip number two. You don't have to do this. You don't have to print off your packets, but you may want to. Um, printing off, you have two days now. If you're getting this, you're, you should be getting this message on a Thursday. You have two days where you can print this off if you want to. You don't have to. But what's nice about printing it off is that you get to read. Well, you can read this stuff on your own on the computer right now. But but here's the thing. If you print it off, then you're going to be able to take notes. And, and the class, and, and that can be really helpful too. So tip number two is to maybe print this off so you can write down your notes. Not required though. All right, so you're going to read it once to yourself, and then you're going to make sure you can take notes. I think the live classes, what's nice about the live classes is, um, you know, you're able to at least see the interaction with the, te the teacher and the students as they work through the question. And, and these questions, these, these things were filmed live. You're going to see a whole bunch of gaps in the instruction. I mean, the instruction solid. I did it. It's solid. But you're going to see that, you know, not every question is answered. It's just the way that the live class is going. Unfortunately, with the live class, you're teaching. There's a camera here. <laughs> there's 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 multiple lights over here. There's the screen here. There's the mic here. There's the my writing board here. And there's a camera right over there. And and all those things are going on in the live class. And then there's a small box <laughs> about this big where the comments are coming in. So you're gonna see as these classes go. I get most, I get a lot of the questions, but I don't get all the questions. So there's a lot of, so there was a lot of gaps in the live class, but what's nice about the live class is that you do see that interaction uh, with the instruction and with teachers. And so that's kind of cool. So read it to yourself, two minutes, print off a copy, right? Print off a copy so you can take notes. That's tip number two. The tip number three is uh, look at the teacher comments as they go on, you know, because you you get to see, you know, what teachers are thinking and, and you get some real, some of them, you get some really good questions. So try and do that. Okay. As you go through these sections here. Okay. So you're going to watch the black, the narration, do that first. Then you're going to, you're going to get to this section here, watch the section on or oral language and or see whatever section you're doing. And when you come across that question, give it two minutes, okay? Take your notes, hopefully on a printed copy if you're able to do that and re and, and, and take notice of the comments, all right? Because, you know, be part, just sort of see if you can get into what they're saying and how they interact, all right? There's other things here too, uh, beyond just those things. There's questions um, um, and prompts that I'll be putting. And I want you to respond to this stuff. As the class goes on, I'll be posting questions. And I want you to see if you can respond and leave comments. All right? This class is still in the process of being workshopped. We're getting ready for this new... We're, we're going to be filming this fall for the new class. And I would really love to get your feedback here. So these comments, this comment box is here, an opportunity for you to give feedback. You can give, you know, I'll be asking questions and I want you to respond, give that feedback. Uh, that feedback is going to be used to help when we redesign this entire class. Okay. So, so right now, you know, respond to whatever these comments are. I usually I'll post a comment here uh, and you can respond back to it. Okay. So you're going to watch this, watch this, participate in whatever comment. And sometimes there's even red videos. Red videos means that it's um, it's a bonus video. These are questions that were probably not in your packet, but they're 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 new. Some of the newer videos that we produced over the summer that I thought were, would be relevant for this class. If you have time, you should watch them. Okay, so team, you're gonna go through and and as you work through these sections here, you're gonna 
You're going to become familiar with the narrations, the actual class, the bonus videos, the comments. Make sure that you're able to do this and work through this, okay? This is your way of participating in the nine-hour workshop, all right? Let me, let's let let's go on. There's there's more to this intro. Um, let's talk about the 30-day the, the aspect. This is important. When you compare the seven day to the 30 day, I mean, there's no comparison. You have four times as much time to go through this content, right? And so that can be a really, that can, that is a really good thing, but you, you don't need to do this in 30 days. This could be done in three days, like the three day webinar, you know, it would be a Saturday, uh, Sunday, Monday, right? And then a lot of teachers would choose to test on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday because they had this idea that, you know, you're supposed to test immediately after a study session. I don't agree with that idea. I've never agreed with that idea. I always say it take at least uh, five days to study. But, you know, you have that ability to do this. Uh, you're getting this on a Thursday, right? So in theory, in theory, if you get this on a Thursday, then in theory, you have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday to study. So in theory, if you were to look at it like that, you have uh, five days here, one, two, three, four, five. In theory, you could, if you wanted to, test on day six, seven, and eight. Okay, those would be the three days after this uh, class starts, after the five days, right? You could do that. <clears throat> No, no one's going to stop you. But here's the thing with the 30-day class is you don't have to now. Now, team, um, you have 30 days, over 30 days to work through this stuff. 30 days. So you don't have to make mistakes that teachers have done in the past where they've rushed the content. Don't do that. Don't rush it. You have 30 days to do this, okay? There's no need to rush. Some teachers are going to be able to do this in three days. That's okay. Some teachers, you're going to benefit from having more time. Use the time. But, but this is what I will say about this, okay? Whether you do it in three days or 30 days, the class ends in 30 days. This is a 30-day thing. That's what it said. That's the class. It's a nine-hour, 30-day class. And, and that means that you've got to fit this in in 30 days. It will end on in 30 days. It's important to have an ending, and we're ending on the 30th day, okay? And that means that you really have to be able to pace yourself in this class. You've got to find a pace to get through this. Now, I think anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour a day is an awesome pace. And if you were to do that, you know, you could do this, you know, probably in, in 10 days, two weeks, you'd be at 30, you'd be able to work through it. Not every section, you're some sections you're going to speed through and, and cut through and do this faster than others. But I think, you know, 30 minutes to an hour a day is a solid pace. Some of you have more time before, um, you know, before things get really hectic for you. You might be able to do one to two hours a day. Everyone here is going to be a little bit different. All right, but but you need to find your pace. All right, all right. Uh, I have some challenges for you, and I want to talk to talk to you about teacher consultations, and then we're done with this intro. Okay, here we go. Um, every team that I've worked with, okay, and I want you to think about this 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 class as a game. You're part of the team now, okay? This is a team thing. Every I've always given this something called a team poster challenge. And, and I want to talk about the team poster challenge to this group. Um, even though you're taking this from home, I get it. You're at home. But here's the thing. You're not the only one at home right now. Everyone on the team's at home. A lot of you are at the kitchen table. Some of you are in the car. <laughs> Some of you are at school with your coworkers. Hi, coworker. Okay? You're not alone. I, as you work through this class, wherever you are, you're not alone doing this. And so what I've always asked teachers to do, because you could feel very alone when you're studying these, you're not, okay? There's always lots of teachers struggling through this, working through this. What I want you to do, uh, I want you to work on a team flag because I've done this with every single group. Making a team flag and coming up with a team flag, um, it kind of, I think it puts your mind in the right mindset. 
Okay. So here's how this, I've done every, every group, this was team family. Okay. Every group does a team flag and it's very simple. I'm asking you as you go through this class to create a team flag or team poster. This team poster, okay, has an original name, has at least five colors and is over the top positive. And it says it's due uh, Sunday at 10, 10 p.m. You need to do this sometime during the 30 days before, before you test. And basically, it has you create a team flag that I'm going to be sharing with your group. Now, this is, this, is, this is one teacher, Nicole, that sent this in, Team Winners. Uh, it's, got a, it's got a nice name, Team Winners. Um, it is very creative, very colorful, very positive. And look at all, she's included all these different languages, okay, in her poster. What a cool poster, right? I want to be part of Nicole's team, the winners, right? Or how about this one right here? Check this one out. Uh, this one was, this one, oh, oh no, I don't have the teacher's name. Uh, uh, I'm sure I have her name here somewhere. Kathleen, there we go. Kathleen did this one. This is so nice. This was involving uh, um, comprehensible, uh, no, no, common underlying proficiency, Cummings. And those are the two icebergs, the dual icebergs. There's a lot of overlapping ideas with ESL and SEI. If, you, if you're familiar with common underlying proficiency or CUP, Okay, such a cool idea by Cummings. Uh, such a cool poster, right, by Kathleen. Awesome. I want to be part of her team. Or how about this one right here? This is by Bridget. Um, Bridget actually uh, was the winner of the poster challenge. Um, she had this awesome. Wouldn't you agree that this is awesome? Super second language supporters. Now, if you're like me, you're looking at this and you're like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Well, well, what are these posters doing? They're they're motivating you. Yes. They're, they're getting you excited. And, and I want you to get excited for this stuff. So just like every teacher group of teachers that I work with, to make this whole thing a game, just like we would make the classes a game. We'd have teachers come into the live classes and we do all this really hard stuff. But how do we do it? We made it into a game. Well, I want you to make it a game, but I want you to submit your posters, okay? Submit your posters before you test. And one more time, it has to have an original name. It has to have at least five colors. It has to be over the top positive. So team, we're just doing this to get you motivated. Why not, right? Why not? Why not be a rock star? Okay, submit this stuff while you're doing the, uh, before you test, okay? So you have 30 days to do this. Another thing we're adding to this class is something called a teacher consultations. This is really important. Now, teacher consultations team is something that's a part of your class. It's part of every class, but it's a time where teachers can call in and ask questions. And during this session here, you can ask questions like clarifying questions. You can ask questions on the test structure. Maybe you didn't hear something and you want to have a question. You can go through test scores if you get test scores back and need feedback. You can um, you can ask questions about the new the classes that are coming out later on this year. So lots of different ways you can use this. But what we're trying to do is give everyone an opportunity to ask questions, and questions are good. But we also want to make sure that we rein it in a little bit. And I will say this: three to five p.m. If you call. Um, if you call in during this time and you have a question, leave a message if I don't pick up because I'm either on the phone with another teacher or I'm teaching a class. So call in during this time. If I don't pick up, leave a, detail, leave a message so I can call you back. I, think of this as an opportunity to talk to the teacher. All right. Don't, don't, uh, don't, don't miss this. Don't miss it. All right. Ask questions. Don't overdo it either. Don't be like the teacher that calls up like four or five times in one day, okay, or every day. That's too much. That's that's way that's 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 off. If you have a question, I want you to call in, and I can I can at least give you that extra final push and answer that question, okay? So, Dean, this is going to be a very active uh, thirty days or three days, depending on how much time you're giving yourself to finish this, okay? Um, you can start now. Start now. You have, uh, you're getting this on a Thursday. You have Thursday, Friday, uh, bonus days. 
Uh, you can keep on studying on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, you know, just start now, uh, get a jump start on it. Remember that um, you have 30 days to go through the, the class recordings, okay? Now, the, the pre-workshop homework stuff doesn't go away, so you can still access the, the terms and the practice exams after the 30 days. But the 30-day class does end. It has an ending, okay? So it's 30 days after we begin. So make sure, make sure you have that. This class doesn't have the webinar components, but you do have the teacher consultation piece. So if you have questions, I want you to call in during teacher consultations, okay? So when you're ready to begin, I want you to go to that first section on similarities and differences, okay? okay.